So not too long ago, I was on Google doing a, an image search for uh, guitar headstocks, specifically like the the hockey stick style, like this here. Uh, I was looking at specifically for this. This is a replica of an ESP Explorer, and which is a replica of a Gibson Explorer. I was looking because I felt like the people who did the replica didn't quite get the headstock right. Um, so just trying to find out, you know, the exact difference between what I got and what the original was. In the midst of doing this, I came across, you know, I see all these different ESP uh, headstocks. All of a sudden, I came across this one image that just kind of grabbed me. I was like, what the hell is this thing? And clicked on it. Uh, I'd never seen this headstock before. And it winds up that it's uh, a guitar from a company called 1032. Never heard of it. Didn't know anything about it. Clicked on it, went to the website. I went there because the thing looked wild to me. Like, it was like, whoa, look at this thing. And I know the taste is subjective or, uh, yeah, subjective. So, you know, maybe, you know, sometimes you may say something's like, wow, this is amazing. And a friend might go, yeah, and you're like, what? And or vice versa. So to me, this is really got my attention. I thought it was so cool. So I anyway, I went to the website to find out that the guitar itself or the brand is very unique. Um, they have uh, it's not they don't just make just standard guitars. Uh, and it winds up that it's actually just one guy doing it. This guy uh, is kind of a genius to me. And I just contacted them to say, I sent an email just to say, like, you know, I just went to your website, found this guitar uh, randomly on Google, and it was just, like, amazing. Like, to me, I'm just like, whoa, I, this is like, uh, you know, looks like it came from space or whatever. <laughs> so it might be an exaggeration. but And I just wrote this email just to say that, like, wow, you're doing, you made something amazing here. This is so cool. Uh, I just want to say, you know, kudos, good job. And I think I threw in it again, like, you know, maybe, I don't know, someday if I save up money, maybe I'll, you know, eventually get one down the line or something like that. Uh, because, you know, these are not, uh, these are not cheap guitars. These are like custom uh, built guitars with really, <laughs> uh, really innovative uh, technology that so, stuff that I haven't seen before. Now, I've been playing guitars for years, but the thing is, I'm not on the cutting edge of guitar technology all the time. Like, I don't know, I probably miss things that come out or whatever, but me personally, I had never seen this stuff before, what this guitar does. Um, the things that I came across when I went on the site was the fact that um, not only is the uh, the neck bolt-on, which is like kind of common or whatever, but it's made to come off easily, The there's also optional bolt-on headstocks I've never seen before, and you'd say, "Why the hell would you want that?" For uh, the main th uh, thing that they're showing is for traveling. You, they actually he builds this custom case where you can take your guitar, take it apart into three pieces, put it in the custom case, and actually bring it as carry-on on an airplane. The thing is, a lot of people are saying, "Oh, but that's the guitar must be terrible." Then it, you know, it's, if, if you do all that, it's going to sound like crap. It's not going to it's, it's intonations. Everything's off. I'm telling you, if you go to <laughs> if you go to the website and you read this stuff. You'll quickly learn otherwise. Anyway, um, so I came across this. Uh, long story a little shorter, he came back and said, you know, oh, thanks and everything. Uh, thanks for the compliment. Appreciate it. And basically said the guitar, the specific guitar that I was looking at was actually an, uh, like a, a bit of a prototype. It wasn't like the latest production model. But, you know, if I wanted to, I, you know, he could sell it. So uh, back and forth a few times, he was like, but it's not really, you know, it's not to my, you know, my, uh, my favorite work because it wasn't, it's not the latest thing. I was still sorting things out or whatever. But I was so in love, with, so enamored with this thing that I was just like, I don't care. Like, I don't care. Please, is there a way we can make this happen? So this is it here. It came today and I'm going to do uh, probably a couple of videos. This will probably be just the unboxing and me blabbering on like this, uh, just talking about it because I, this might be really cheesy. I'm cheesy right now because this is something I'm excited about. Um, so there's no sponsorship or any of that here. Nothing. This is just me finding a new, me being like, you know, a gearhead. And I found this new product that I was just like, whoa, what is this? And really excited about it. I love the way it looked. And I'm just genuinely excited about it. So I just feel like sharing it with like a review and like this is basically like a blog because I'm talking so much. So this video will be the unboxing and I think I'll do it in the next video where I'm actually uh, playing it. I'll sh show you what it sounds like and what it, I'll explain what it feels like and everything. 
but I haven't even seen it out of the box, out of the case yet. So I've been kind of dying to open this. I'm just going to do this now. Again, this is um, the company's called 1032. I'll put the information there and stuff. Not sponsored, just excited. Thought it was so cool. So let me just move this aside. I'm going to open the case, but it's probably going to block the camera. But I have a few more cameras. I'll I'll uh, I'll open it and then I'll take it out and uh, do a better job with it. But let's see. Oh boy. Please don't let me knock this over. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. It's so cool. So you can't see it because it's blocking this. So I'm going to take it out. Give me one second. Oh, my God. It's so cool. One second. Oh, my God. This is crazy. And it's light. And it's not too big. Ah! <laughs> oh, shit. God dang. Oh man, this is dope. And I'm cheesing. I'm cheesing. Sorry guys, I'm gonna be cheesy for a little while here. Oh, this is so dope. Oh my god, that's so cool. That is so cool. So um so let me see if I could do this. One second, guys. Boop. Okay. Man, this is so cool. Oh my god, this is so cool. So the thing is, what my cheesy bad cameras are not quite catching is a bunch of the details. Um, the other thing that's, uh, about this, this company, they have, he has resin finishes. <laughs> so it's not just a regular finish. Let me see if I could show you. I'll try with this one. So you'll see, uh, I don't know if I can get it. There's a, like a, a texture on here. It's not normal. And I'll explain it in a second. You can kind of see it there. It's a resin finish. It's textured. Oh my God, this is so cool. It's light, I love it. And there's reasons for that. There's a few things that are, uh, that uh, affect the finish of a guitar, like micro scratches, swirl marks, uh, fingerprints, skin stickiness, and whatnot. This resin finish, oh shit, it really does it. <laughs> I don't see any fingerprints. So it actually literally does away with all those, which is pretty uh, nuts. But not just that, it looks dope. It's so cool. Anyway, uh, the thing that got me on the website, this is the picture of it here, I can kind of see it, was the headstock, which is just a really thick, kind of like almost steampunk <laughs> version of a, um, like a banana or a hockey stick headstock. It looks freaking dope. And the, um, the wood he uses is like really superior wood, which is crazy. I think it's, I'm going to probably mispronounce it. I think it's called Wenge. Wenge is the one on the back here on the neck, which is super cool. It's, God, this is not doing it justice. Oh my God, this is crazy. This is nuts. And it's light too. Oh my God, this is so cool. So again, um, this guitar company, 1032, no, no sponsorship, but I would really like to, I really believe in what he's doing. It's such cool stuff. Um, between the innovative stuff they have, the, 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 the tools that you use, the different Allen keys and stuff that, uh, take the, the pieces apart and whatnot are built into the back. Like it's, it's, he literally makes a cavity that's, and provides them there. There's a, even a cavity. <laughs> this is crazy. This here, if you could see this here, that is a cavity specifically for uh, wireless receivers. So it just hides away here rather than like sticking out like a big, you know, sore uh, on the, the end of the guitar like that. Um, there's a bunch more features that I, I will go over. Uh, I can't even remember all the, yeah. I will go back and do a, um, you know, like a showing the, of the guitar with better uh, camera work, not just this wide angle stuff. Um, I just wanted to get this one out of the way because I wanted to just catch the unboxing and stuff. This is so cool. It's crazy, 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 crazy. Guys, that's about it. I'm going to go um, shoot the next one. Uh, I'm going to get it all plugged in, try it out, try it on, uh, and let you know how it sounds and talk about a little bit more about the features and stuff that are really, really cool with this thing. Uh, 1032, uh, this model's the HSV. They have a lot more. 1032guitars.com. You can check them out. I'll put the links there and stuff. But again, this is just the first video. Uh, the unboxing, I'm going to do the review next. Uh, I never did a review, but um, 
this was just so cool i was like i think i want to do this so uh i'm doing it and that's it guys so i will uh i'll check in with you uh shortly with the next video and i'll see you next time guys i'm out peace Crazy. <laughs> uh, I'm cheesy, but I don't care. Oh my god, this feels cool. Oh, it's feel cool. It feels really cool. Oh, and the neck is thin. I love it. Not thin, but thin. From back to front. Oh my god, that's the th I think that's the th this is the thinnest neck I've ever felt, I think. I love the thin necks. I was wondering what it was going to be like because I knew nothing about the neck. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is so exciting. This is so cool. Oh man, this is dope. <laughs> I'm cheesy, what can I say? I'm happy.